Treatment for ulcerative colitis varies depending upon the needs and responses of individual patients. There are a variety of treatment options available today. The following video outlines a typical course of treatment for ulcerative colitis. The information within may not directly apply to your child's case and is intended for educational purposes only. The specific treatment plan should be developed by your child's physician with your input. Everyone is unique and UC may require a combination of approaches. Sometimes doctors will have you do a combination of treatments to see what works best for you. When a patient who has inflammatory bowel disease is having symptoms, typically our first goal is to get their symptoms under control as quickly as possible so that they can return to their normal life. <laughs> when patients are first diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, their disease is usually active. And in those cases, we often use more potent medications to treat their disease. Sometimes we call them induction agents. For patients with more mild disease, we can often treat them with aminosalicylates. For patients with moderate or more severe disease, we we'll use steroids like prednisone. It works very rapidly. Usually, most of our patients are feeling better once they're on prednisone within a week or two, sometimes within even a few days. But because prednisone has side effects, we typically use that medication for a short period of time, and then we start backing off and introducing the maintenance medication, the sulfasalazine or the mesalamine. That's a very effective, very safe medication. In general, medications that are more effective in controlling inflammation also have more side effects and require closer follow-up. For patients who flare up on the mesalamine, we typically will use an immune modulator drug called 6 mercaptopurine or azathioprine. In most cases, maintenance medication should hold a person's disease on good control and keep them at their normal level of activity. But there are going to be times when disease activity increases, and in those cases we may use, often for a short period of time, rescue medications. These are medications meant to bring their disease activity under control and to a level where maintenance medications can work again. If we find that a patient's symptoms aren't improving as we had expected, that might mean that a different medication is indicated. In those cases, we may use infliximab, cyclosporin, or tacrolimus. The long-term goal is going to be to put in place a treatment plan that's going to keep their disease in remission for the longest time. In some patients, the inflammation in the intestine doesn't respond to our medications or loses its response to our medications. When that does occur, we often consult with a surgeon uh, and discuss the possibility of removing the colon. Uh, he didn't really respond fully to the tacrolimus that we had placed him on. And uh, now, several months later, we find ourselves treating him with yet another course of steroids. And I'm just not optimistic that we're going to be able to manage his disease just using medicines. It's very important for children who, who have ulcerative colitis to be seen by their physician on a regular basis. But I'm just going to take your temperature and your blood pressure. Yep. This gives us an opportunity to perform physical exams, make sure they're gaining weight, and make sure that their inflammation is under control. The second thing it allows us to do is to check for any side effects of the medication. Now, the medications that we use for ulcerative colitis are actually quite safe. However, they do have some side effects. All right, 20 milligrams. Um, now you're only taking it in the morning. You our goal in treating patients with ulcerative colitis is to use medical therapies to control the inflammation. And in doing so, we make them feel well and maximize their quality of life. They return to school, they return to social activities, they return to their routine. Therapy for ulcerative colitis is constantly improving. There are additional resources and links on this DVD to help keep you current. Additional information can be found at www.childrenshospital.org IBD and at www.ccfa.org. The information provided in this DVD is intended for general education only 
Your physician will work with you to develop a specific plan for treatment.